That was pretty fun. <laughs> awesome. And just as for the fight itself, were you surprised by anything out there? I thought she would go for more takedowns. Um, she tried more in the, um, in the end of the uh, third round. But I felt that I actually felt that she wanted to stand and bang, and that works for me. So yeah, it played out well. And you know, you said you were oddly relaxed this fight week. So how was today for you? Nerves all in check? Oh my god, I was so nervous. So when the fight was, you know, uh, done, I was, uh, I was so relieved because I've been so nervous all day. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you talked about. Talk about what's next afterward. Had some things in mind. It seems like Raquel Pennington's still on on the mind. Is it is it her or anybody else? Well, we were scheduled to fight tonight, and uh, uh, I don't know why it didn't happen. But uh, um, she, I think she said she could go in August, and I'm I will be cleared for a fight in August. Um, I'm not injured or anything, so I would love to fight in August if she wants to. All right, awesome. And any plans to celebrate? Um, well, we go into in and out. That's, <laughs> that's usually what we do. And uh, I have to call my mom. She's probably like, ah, right now. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. And right here. Hey. Uh, how are your legs feeling? She threw a lot of leg kicks in there. Uh, yeah, my calf is hurting a bit. Uh, I, I was so ready for those. I was like, okay, she, she's going to go for uh, calf kicks. I blocked a few of them. But, you know, in the third round, I was like, I can handle a couple of uh, calf kicks. I'm just going to I'm just gonna take them. Were you expecting those from her, or did they catch No, her? I expected those calf kicks. She did really good in her last fight with those. And I think this is, what, your fourth fourth win at Bandai? Yeah. So the, 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 the top of the division, a lot of the ladies have already fought for the title. Maybe Amanda's looking for a new opponents, and, of course, she has to fight against Juliana Pena. So where do you think this win puts you in this division? Well, I feel that I'm ready to fight somebody, uh, like I said before, like Raquel or uh, around that, you know, and and that ranking, uh, I do see myself. Uh, I'm ranked 11. I do see myself as a top five fighter. Uh, I've grown a lot, and uh, I know that you know. Usually, you guys only see my boxing, but I, <laughs> I'm really well rounded, <laughs> but I never get to show that sometimes. So. so, would you prefer this slow climb up the rankings, or would you prefer them to try to throw you into like a top three, top five fight? Like, like say they don't come back with a kill. Like Holly Holm gets a lot matched up with a lot of. Uh, women coming up in yeah. the rankings to test them. Would you like one of those fights or would you like a uh, slow rise? I mean, I like all the time I can get in the octagon. I mean, this is what I will look back at when I'm older. I'm like, I had so much time in the octagon. And I I will love to fight, of course. Uh, I will take the smartest fights I can. Penny? Hey. Con congratulations. Hey. Um, so... You lost your first two UFC fights, but now you're on, on, on a four fight win streak. Um, what constituted the change and what's, what's you know, explain it. Well, the ultimate fighter uh, was my chance to get a UFC contract. Um, it just wasn't my time. It wasn't my time. Uh, it wasn't my weight class. It was just not me. Uh, and, you know, my opponent was better than me that night. And, uh, I got sent home without a contract, and I got. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I was pretty down for a while, but I fought again. I got a chance to fight in Bantamweight, and I took the fight on two weeks' notice, which I, I'm not regretting. Uh, I fought Julia Avila, and she was way better than me that night. She was better prepared. But I said, you know, to the matchmakers when I when I got there, you won't regret it. Just give me a contract in my own weight class, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. So. And you're winning. Yeah. Um, the alternate fighter is back right now. Um, are you happy that it's, it, it, it didn't go away? Yeah, I'm super happy. I love the ultimate fighter, especially after being on it. I, I was really jealous when I saw the producers putting up pictures uh, when they're at the set and everything because I really miss it. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Did you throw any kicks? And do you have a message for the women of Iran? Sorry, what did you say? I did didn't... you throw any kicks? I didn't count any. And do you have a message for the women in Iran? I cannot hear you. I'm so sorry. Did you throw any kicks? Did you throw any kicks? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I threw any kicks. Um, 
maybe like a stomp kick to the knee or something, but I just didn't in this fight. I was just like <laughs> letting my hands go, and I don't know what I was thinking. And what was the second thing you said? About you have a message for the women of Iran. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a lot of Iranian fans, especially females, and uh, I mean, it's not impossible. <laughs> uh, we, you know, there's, I know there's a lot of fighters in Iran coming up that nobody knows of. Uh, a lot of girls um, that really want to come over here and fight because they can't fight at home. And I don't know, maybe maybe I could be influenced or something for that because um, everybody deserves to do whatever they want. Thank you. Thanks.